So I'm a teacher seven, Mr. Barry here. Today I want to talk about controlling your Tesla speed or power output. Now, there's many ways to do this. You can use your cell phone, which I'll show you, and you can also use the screen and control things there right from the car. Now this main control point, you can just click on the car. Then you have many options and one what we're going to choose is called driving. So click on driving and you notice right away under the driving options we have chill or standard. With chill mode it slows the 0 to 60 miles per hour time to about 7 seconds. There's no change in the max speed which is still faster than 130 miles per hour. In standard mode the Tesla is really a thrill to drive with 0 to 60 times in 4.4 or 3.9 seconds depending on the software upgrades that you've installed. For steering mode there's comfort standard and sport. I usually keep mine in standard but as you can see you just choose the one that you like and it will give you a different feel on the steering wheel. Regenerative braking you have either low or standard. I recommend standard and that gives you really the uh, max uh, regenerative braking while you're coming up to stop signs or when you're decelerating it decelerates quickly without having to use your friction brakes so that's really nice and then you have stopping mode. Now when you're coming up to a stop sign you have uh, different options here. You can creep. So if I choose creep that will slowly move when the pedals are released there. You have roll uh, when the uh, pedals are released or you have hold. Maximizes range by extending regenerative braking to lower speeds and automatically blends in brakes to hold the vehicle at your stop sign which is really really nice now it doesn't just stop at stop signs but wherever you stop so if you're at a parking lot and you release the accelerator and the brake you're not holding anything well guess what the car will hold its position that means stop and actually apply the brakes so it doesn't roll downhill or anything like that so I use that option there now let's say that your one of your sons or a friend wants to borrow your Tesla and you say, well, I would like it to be in chill mode for them because you don't want them to go too fast, right? So um, there's options you can actually do it so that you can actually lock it in these settings using your cell phone app. Meaning the driver cannot change these options even if he puts in the code on the screen here. He has to use the cell phone app with the code to unlock. Um, these other restrictions. So let me show you that right now. So within your cell phone you turn on the Tesla app which you receive right when you pick up your car and then you go into the main page here and you click on controls. Now the controls window should open. Notice at the very top you have controls for your windows and for your doors where you can lock them or unlock. The car will automatically lock and secure everything when you leave the car. Now next we have the controls in the middle and those basically are like if you want to flash, honk, start, open the front or open the trunk. So those are basic controls. Below that you have your valet mode. Now the valet mode is enabled by just simply clicking on the slider and then keying in the four digit pin code. Now once you've done that it will then lock the car into valet mode. To unlock it all you have to do is go back to the controls, click on the valet mode Again, key in your four digit pin code and then it will unlock the car so that you can then drive it uh, normally on the streets. The valet mode is really restricted only when someone else is parking your car and you'd actually never drive it in the valet mode on open roads. The last option that we have here is called speed limit mode. To enable the speed limit mode, simply click on the slider. Then it will ask you to key in your four digit pin code. Now after you put in your pin code, it locks the car into the speed limit mode. Now you can adjust the speed limit from your cell phone by using the numbers at the bottom of the screen so you can go down. I've tried it and tested it all the way down to 60 miles per hour and yes it does go up above 90 and all that too. So basically you can set it to out whatever speed that you want to and it will not pass that speed limit. Once the car reaches that speed limit it, the car begins chiming and basically holding to that speed which is kind of interesting 
It is um, basically a mode that you only want to use when someone else is driving your car and you don't want them just to see well how fast this car can actually go. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please click on thumbs up too and share the video. This is my only income now and so every time you click on thumbs up or share the video it really helps greatly. Thank you very much and bye bye.